Hello little stitches, Miss Mary here. Welcome back and I hope you had a great summer. Today we are making jellyfish plushies. You have in your kit enough to make a large and a small. If you stop by the library and picked up a kit, inside it you will find fluff, a pattern that we're gonna cut out, two different colors of thread, a needle, a bunch of little bits of felt cut up so you're gonna find some white and some dark blue pink and white it's for the eyes and the cheeks there will also be a half sheet of felt with some ribbons and then a whole sheet of felt with more ribbons everyone has different colors of ribbon and different colors of felt. The ribbon I set inside each of the felt squares it, uh, was cut to go with that jellyfish, but you can switch up the ribbon any way you want. There's enough of each piece um, that if you wanna change the colors from what I folded in, that's up to you. It just helped me keep track and make sure everyone had the right amount. There's only two things you're gonna need from your house even if you picked up a kit and that's some scissors and a marker or a permanent marker, something to trace out your pattern. Okay. So we have our pattern and our scissors. We're gonna cut everything out. When I cut these out, I'm gonna make two different piles. So first I'm just gonna cut out the part with all my circles and we're gonna take care of that after we cut out our jellyfish pattern. Okay, now I have both my jellyfish cut out. I'm gonna move to the circles. I have them labeled B, E, B, E, B, C, L, C, L, E, L, E. That stands for big eye, big eye, big cheek, little cheek, little eye, little eye. So. I'm gonna then cut them in strips. So these are my BE and BE. So I'm gonna cut those out first. This is my big eye. The, and this is gonna be our white. And then the BE is also for the big eye for a big jellyfish. But this circle is for the dark blue. Okay. And then I have my LE, because this is my little eye for the little jellyfish. And the bigger circle is for the white. And the other LE is for the little eye. And this is for the dark blue for the little jellyfish. Then BC is for our cheeks, big cheek. And there's only one for the big and one for the little. Elsie for the little cheek. What we can do next is take all your little cutouts and we're gonna put the same color next to each other. So those are my white. I'm layering them so there's two the same size and then there's two a slightly smaller size. Okay, then I'm going to match them up. So my big eye, the biggest circle, my BE is going on the big white and I'm going to set that off to the side for now. My other white is my LE, the big circle of the LE. That's for the white. And then I've got a bigger square of the dark blue and then my other BE is going on that and then I'm gonna put it right next to my other BE. So I know those are for the eyes. My other dark blue is for my LE. So that's for the inside of that eye. Then I have two le left piles of pink. One's for the BC, which is the big cheek. 
And the other pile is for the Elsie for the little cheek. So we're not going to do anything with those for now, but I just wanted to get them all organized. So I'm just going to set them off to the side for now. We are going to start with our large jellyfish. So that's your full square. And all these little ribbons I'm just going to set aside for a second. So with my large felt square. I'm going to fold it in half. So it's hamburger style. And the part that's open on the bottom, so there's a part that's open on one side and that's folded over on the other. I'm going to put the top of my jellyfish on the folded over side and where the squiggles are is where it opens up. I'm going to set that on there. I want to make sure the squiggle lines fit in and if my head's a little bigger, that's okay. I'm not going to cut the top part. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I'm going to take my marker. Once I figured out where this is going to go, see how it, it does? My pattern's a little bit bigger, so what you could do is cut your pattern a little bit or I'm just going to start tracing right there. Trace down. Trace the squiggles. Okay, and when I lift it up, it's gonna look like that. I don't wanna have to sew the top, so I'm not gonna cut the top. If you see from the example, the top is not cut. So when I cut out this pattern, I'm not going to cut the top. I'm just going to cut around the outside. And then all we have to do is sew along this way and not sew the top. So with it folded, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along that line. Now that we have that cut out, I do want to show you this time we are sewing on the outside. We're not going to sew and flip it in like we've done before. So for this, I'm going to open it up and fold it the other way so all of my tracing, if there's any left, goes on the inside. And if you have any jagged lines or anything, you could just use the scissors and smooth it out because we will see all of these edges. Okay, now that we have that, I'm gonna grab all of my small patterns that have a B first. So B E, B E, and B C. If you see on this, see we've got one of the B E's that's white is our big part of our, the white part of our eye. The dark blue is going to be the dark part. And then we've got two little cheeks. So for this, you could either put both of your squares on top of each other and trace it and cut them both out like we did the other one. Or if it's easier, you can trace one and then set it to the side and then put the pattern back on the other one and trace that one. And then you can cut them out separately. The only reason we didn't do that with the jellyfish is because we don't want to cut the top. So I didn't do two different patterns on that. So for the white part of the eye, I'm going to cut these out. All right, we don't need that pattern anymore. This one might be a little hard to see if you're tracing it. So the other thing you could do is just hold the pattern and cut it. Because if I drew black lines on this, I might not be able to see it. I might not be able to see the marker um, outline. 
Then once you get the shape too, then you could take the pattern off and fix it up. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. All right, and then we don't need that pattern anymore. And now the cheeks. Now if you could see any of the black or your marker outline, you just turn it over and we're gonna attach it that way. There we go. All right, so I would have just been setting them on there. That is not the way we wanna put them. So I'm gonna move the stuff over. You're gonna figure out where you want your eyes. You could either have them very close together, you could have them way far apart, you can kind of find somewhere in the middle. That is up to you. And then you got your little cheeks too. And you can put those where you want them as well. So once you kind of figure out placement, before we start, so we are gonna sew that next, but before we start with that, I'm going to take my ribbon and just lay out so I know which ones I'm picking so I know where they're gonna go because that's the next thing we're gonna sew. So I think I'm gonna do the long and solid color ribbons are gonna be in all the squiggle, the down part of the squiggles. And my glittery ones I'm gonna put in between. So there's enough to do four of the solid color and then three of the glitter ones. So I'm doing every other one, solid glitter, all the way across. When I did my first one, I didn't think about putting the glitter ones on yet. So I used all the solid color on my large jellyfish. And I used all my glitter on my small jellyfish, which you can do too. There's enough where if you want to do all glitter on one, all solid on the other, it's really up to you. This one I'm gonna try doing every other one. So I figured out my pattern. So I'm just gonna move that off to the side for a second. I'm gonna turn this around. So you're gonna find one of your colors of thread. So you'll find the end, take some string, cut it, find your needle. This one is another self threading needle. So you can make your knot first. So I'm gonna take the two ends of my thread, roll them together so I wrap it around my finger and roll it down and then pull it forward. Roll around, roll down, and pull. And then I'm, so I didn't put anything on here, so all I have is a big loop. Then I'm gonna take the knot and put it on one side, find the loop on the other, take my self-threading needle and this one you gotta push down from the top. And you gotta be a little gentle because if you push too hard, you might rip the thread. And if you do that, that's okay. Just get a new piece of thread. All right, so now that we got our thread, we got our eyes and our cheeks where we want them. As you can see on here, I just went around and around to sew them down. And the cheeks, I did little crosses on them so they look like little buttons. I'm gonna start with an eye. So I wanna take my needle and I might move the cheek over just for a second and go from underneath up through the top. And the reason I do that is so that the knot is hidden underneath and inside the jellyfish. And then I'm just gonna bring it back through and bring it up. And I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around. Now 
Now this one, we don't have stuffing that we're putting into the eyes. So you don't have to worry too much about how far apart your stitches are. And I don't want too many, so I'm gonna kind of put them a little bit further apart than I would normally if I was putting stuffing in there. Okay, I might move these off to the side just to make it easier. And remember, we're not sewing through the other side. I'm only sewing the eyes right to one one felt piece, not fold it, not through the folded part. Okay, now that my one eye is all sewn on and it won't fall off, I'm gonna turn it over and I've gotta make the knot now. A couple ways you could do that is take your thread and your needle and put it through and then you've got a loop and you're gonna take your needle and put it through the loop and again through the loop and then pull that tight and then you're gonna do that one more time. So you go underneath that knot you just made, you're gonna make a loop, go through the loop and go through the loop again and then you've got your knot. The other way you could do it is cut to cut your thread and you have your two threads and then you can knot it this way just like a normal knot. Make the cross and pull it through. Alright so now that I moved over some of my stuff just to make it easier to sew I have to re-figure out where I want that eye again. Again we're not going through both only through one. I'm going to hold the eye on and I'm going to put the needle through the back so my knot is in the back and you can't see it. And then, then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to make my knot again, which whichever way you want to. We're going to replace our cheeks and I'm going to need a little more thread. All right, for the cheeks, we're going to do something a little different. So I'm still going to go in through the back and only through one, kind of from the outside. And then I'm going to go all the way to the other side and push that through. So there's a little dash. And then I'm going to find on the other side, I'm so I went up through the back and across the other side to make a nice little X. And then I'm going to go through the back and I'm going to make the knot. All right, then we do the other one. And then knot that. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is attach our little jellyfish ribbons. When we sew the jellyfish, we're going to sew around this side, across from this little squiggle to this one, and then up this side. So when I'm attaching these tentacles, I'm going to do it to the back now, and I want to make sure my ribbon goes just a little bit above where that squiggle is, because I'm going to sew these on, and I don't want to see all, you know, my knots and the thread. Um, and then I'm going to sew this part here. So you're going to be able to see that it's going to flap up, but I'm going to be sewing up higher. Now this time I'm going to open it up like a sandwich because I'm going to be sewing on the back half. And I'm going to start with a solid first, but again, you can make it any way you want. So I'm going to get my thread, okay. so I'm going down and back up, and remember we want the knot on the inside, and then I'm going to knot it.
and then I'm going to cut it. And on the back, I just got another little X. And then I'm going to do every other one. So I'm going to do a solid and then glittery. But again, you could do it any way you want. This one I'm going to put on the inside of part of the squiggle. And I'm going to make sure the ribbon goes high enough. And I'm going to push this through so the knot is on the inside. Pull it up through. Pull it up through. And then I'm going to knot it. Okay, and then I'm going to keep doing that until I run out of the ribbons. Every other one, and I have enough to do four solid and three glitter, or you could do it all solid and then the little one gets all the glitter. Up to you. Alright, now that I got all those little ribbons secured onto the back, and then if you look at the back, I got, they're all little X's. Next one, what we're going to do is take our needle and thread. I'm going to sew from the top down to this in part before the squiggles start. And I'm going to go across and I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave this side open so we can put the fluff in there. Okay? So start at the top down, across, and stop. And then we're going to put the stuffing in there. All right. I'm going to make sure that it's lined up and I'm going to start my knot on the inside. So that way the knot's on the inside and then I could start sewing in and out all the way around. Now this time we do want to make sure our stitches are pretty close together because um, we don't want the stuffing to fall out. So I'm just going to go in and out nice and thin. All the way down to here and then across and then I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I started up here, I sewed down here, all along the bottom, and I left the side open like a nice little pocket. Now you're going to get your stuffing out. You want to break it up so you want a piece for your small jellyfish. So what we can do for now is actually so take a larger piece, do it a little bit at a time, fill it up. Okay, and I still have some for my small one, but I'm not going to sew it yet. I think I'm going to make my small jellyfish and just make sure I have enough stuffing for that one, and then I'm going to sew it up at the end. So for now, there's our large jellyfish, and that one is good to set aside. And then we just have to finish sewing this. You can sew it now, 
but I just want to make sure I have enough for my little jellyfish. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. Okay. We're pretty much going to do the same thing for our small jellyfish. So the first thing we're going to do is take our half sheet of felt and I'm going to fold it in half, again like hamburger style. I'm going to take my small jellyfish pattern. The top of the head is going to be at the folded part. The part that's open is by the squiggle part. I'm going to trace this. Again, when I cut it out, I'm not going to cut the top because I don't want to have to sew that part. So I still have some of my little tracings on there, so I'm gonna open it up and fold it this way so we can't see it. So the tracings are on the inside. Then I'm gonna get out all my L patterns. So my LE, LE, LC. Now we're going to do the same thing. Because I already talked through the other one, I'm going to go through the steps, but it's all the same as the first one. Okay, so I'm going to start with this eye, so I'm going to take the other ones off. Make sure the knot goes on the inside. done, I'm going to fold it. I'm going to get my ribbons and figure out which way I'm going to do the pattern. This time I'm going to start with glitter and go glitter, solid, glitter, solid, glitter. So this one you only need three because there's three little bumps and then two for the inside. And again, you could do it any way you want. So I'm going to open it up. I remember just like we did last time, this is going to be sewn across. So I'm going to make sure the ribbon goes up enough. All right, now that our tentacles are on, we can fold it in half again. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start at the top, sew down to where the squiggles start, this little in part, and across the bottom. And then I'm going to keep the one side open so I can put the stuffing in. Again, we're going to want to make sure that these stitches are close together because we don't want the stuffing to fall out.
we start at the top, we sew it down, we sew it across, and we left this part open to add our last bit of fluff. And then remember, we didn't open, or we didn't sew this part, so we could take some fluffing out if you need a little more over here or other way around. And then once they're good and figured out, then we're just gonna get a little more string and we're gonna sew up this side and then we're gonna sew up this side. Now, this jellyfish was much bigger. And if you run out of string to sew up that last bit, you could always use extra from the smaller jellyfish to finish those stitches and that's okay. So I'm gonna finish those up. All right, little stitches, we got both our jellyfish done. I finished sewing the side so the stuffing won't fall out and everything is on there. I hope you had a great time. I would love to see how your jellyfish came out. You are welcome to finish them up and send in pictures. You could either email or send it to our Facebook. All right, thank you little stitches and I will see you next month. Goodbye.